Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explore using extra fields with Commerce.js and the underlying check API. So if you didn't know, Commerce.js is a great library and SDK for building commerce experiences. The platform behind it is a infrastructure for commerce and what they have is a great API that you can hook into or you can opt to use their JavaScript SDK, Commerce.js. So today we are going to have a look at what we can do using the dashboard for Commerce.js or the check dashboard. And we can create some extra fields for our store. So at a merchant level, we can retrieve those during checkout. Or if we add a product to a cart, we can also assign some custom fields that can either be required or not when the person is checking out. So if you added a product to a cart that maybe has had some type of engraving, then you could ask that at checkout. Now you wouldn't obviously want to apply that to every order, only those orders with products that require engraving. We can do all of that with Commerce.js and the underlying check API. So that's what we're gonna have a look at today. You'll need an account with Commerce.js to kind of get going here. Uh, and also you'll need to be familiar and have some tooling to make requests to the API. So uh, I'll let you sign up, I'll let you get signed in uh, and inside of the check dashboard as well, we'll pick up, pick up. Uh, and we can dive right in. Once you've logged into the check dashboard, head on over to the data settings from the left hand side. Inside of there, we will want to click to add a new data field. And the first one we'll add will be for some notes and we'll leave this as type text. The second field we'll add will be for a free gift selection. Uh, and what we'll do here is we will say that this is a radio and this input is something we can display on the front end and we'll add a few options. And the API will return all of these choices for us. Then let's go ahead and add a few more. We'll add one for subscribe me to new updates for products and things. Uh, and this will also obviously be a checkbox. We won't make it required, but what we'll do is we'll add another field. Uh, and this time what we'll do is we will say that this will be a required checkbox and that you must agree that there is no refund policy when you buy anything with this store. Then we'll add a, another field and we'll give this uh, a name of phone number for delivery updates and this will obviously be of type number. Then all it's left to do is scroll to the bottom and click the save button. Once all that's saved, that is then accessible through your checkout object. Next, we'll have a look at the API reference for generating a checkout token. The checkout token can be used to really customize the checkout experience for your customers. And this API response will give you all of the verbs and conditionals you need to optionally show certain fields and any validation on those fields will all be presented to the user. And obviously those can be powered by the API. The important thing that we need for this example is the extra fields. And we can see that that is in the response. And when we make a request to the API in just a moment, we'll see all of the extra fields we have just generated inside of the check dashboard. I'm going to begin by creating a new cart with Commerce.js. I'm then going to retrieve that cart. And then I'm going to add an item to the cart. And this is a product that already exists inside of my check dashboard. Then I can go ahead and create a cart token. This is the same checkout token that allows us to customize the entire checkout flow and experience for the customer. If I search the response for the extra fields array, I'll see I have all of those extra fields that I configured inside of the check merchant dashboard. I have the notes, the free gift card selection with the options. And I also have the subscription and the agree to no refund policy and phone number fields for our delivery updates. You can see we also have required one and required zero for our required true or false booleans that we'll need. And all of this allows us to customize the entire checkout flow, but it doesn't just stop there. We can also attach custom fields to individual products. So when you add a product to the cart, you may want to ask for extra information such as engraving. If you don't add this to the cart, then you can at the checkout just not show that field because that will not be shown inside of the extra fields response. 
So now that we've created that, let's head on over and make a new checkout token. And we should see inside of the response now that we have that engraven field, as well as all of the other fields that we created at a merchant level.